Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the newest developments and trends in the finance and investment industries. In this video, we'll talk about Tesla's possible stock buyback program, a subject that has received a lot of attention from analysts and investors recently. Could this move by Tesla be a game changer for the company's financial health and future performance? As we go into further detail, keep in mind that many analysts and investors are waiting to see if the company will actually follow through on this idea. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe buttons on our channel. Given the recent large fluctuations in the primary EV stock, a stock repurchase at this time could prove to be extremely beneficial advantageous to the business. Even though the company recently revealed what many view as poor key four results, the IDF of stock buyback program for Tesla has been more and more discussed among investors in recent months, particularly after Elon Musk, the CEO and Tesla executives were under intense pressure from investors and analysts to act regarding the company's stock fluctuations. Musk stated that even if 2023 proves to be a difficult year for the company, the company can still undertake a $5.10 billion buyback. The board has discussed the idea extensively and generally agrees that it makes sense to undertake a buyback, but we want to go Musk. The CEO of Tesla added that it's possible that the company may carry out a sizable buyback. But keep in mind that everything is still up in the air. Board approval and review over the past few months. A number of experts in Tesla have discussed the potential advantages of a stock buyback for the company. Elon Musk has commented that while market teams tend to focus on the short term, it's crucial to focus on the long term. To illustrate, picture a busy marketplace where companies are vendors selling their shares. Occasionally, a company may decide to buy back some of its shares effectively becoming a buyer in the marketplace. This can have a number of advantages, such as supporting stock price by lowering the number of outstanding shares, enhance the value of the remaining shares and raise earnings per share, which can support the stock price and bolster investor confidence. A company that buys back its shares also gains more control because it effectively reduces the number of shareholders and can sell the shares, proving ownership. Because fewer opinions need to be taken into account, when making strategic decisions, this may provide the business greater control over its destiny. The advantages of being a savvy consumer in a thriving marketplace, where you can optimize your spending, consolidate ownership, support the worth of what you're doing, and even save taxes, outweigh the benefits of a buybacker. It seems sense that so many businesses decide to repurchase their stock, but how can we maximize a buyback? For us investors, Understanding the details of a stock buyback can be helpful for a number of reasons. The first is that it allows you to time the market. Buybacks may be a sign of a company's perception of the state of the market. An announcement of a repurchase by a firm can indicate that it thinks its stock is cheap and that it is optimistic about its future. On the other hand, a firm may be signaling that it thinks the stock is overpriced and that the market is perhaps in a bubble if it ceases or scales back its buyback program. When Elon began selling his personal Tesla shares in the middle of 2022, this is precisely why the stock of Tesla dropped. The effect it has on the stock price is the second justification. Buybacks can have a positive or negative effect on a company's stock price, depending on how much of its shares are repurchased. Lower the quantity of shares on the market and raise profits per share, both of which might raise the price of the stock. This would be advantageous since Tesla's profits per share showed promise in key four following the market closing. The electric vehicle manufacturer outperformed forecasts in terms of revenue and profitability. Following its announcement that it may make 2 million cars this year, Tesla's shares increased by five. According to Refinitiv, adjusted earnings for the days after hours trading were $1.19 per share, beating the predicted $1.13 per share. In addition, revenue for the quarter was $24.32 billion greater than the $24.16 billion that Refinitiv had predicted as compared to the same quarter the previous year. Tesla reported key four automotive revenue of $21.3 billion, indicating a 33-year growth with $467 million coming from regulatory credits. Tesla's revenue was $17.72 billion with adjusted earnings of $2.52 per share or $0.85 when adjusted for August 2022 stock split. Following the release of the quarterly delivery report, the company's shares dropped down 6% on Monday in just the first week of April 2023. Some investors are concerned that more prizes may be awarded. In order to increase sales, cuts will be required, which could reduce margins over the weekend. 
with a total output of 400 and 4,808 vehicles. Tesla revealed that it delivered a record-breaking 422,875 electric vehicles in the first quarter of this year. This marks a 4% increase in deliveries over the previous period. Investors continue to express anxiety over Tesla's frequent price reductions in the U.S. Some of the U.S. price reductions, as explained by China and Europe, were made to enable Tesla and its customers to benefit from tax credits granted by the Inflation Reduction Act. Nevertheless, there is a persistent worry that as more competitors enter the market, Tesla will have to keep slashing prices to draw in customers. Due to these worries, some investors have called for Tesla to announce a $15 billion stock buyback, as we covered in the previous video. According to billionaire Leo Kowan, who claims to be the company's third-largest individual shareholder, the company should fund the buyback with free cash flow and not deplete its current $18 billion cash reserves, in a tweet to Martin Viesia, senior director of investor relations at Tesla. Additionally, Kogan said that when capital expenditures were taken into account, Tesla's free cash flow, which was $2.2 billion in the first quarter of this year, should increase to $8 billion this year and $17 billion the next year. Hebrew thinks Tesla can purchase new factories and fully autonomous Optimus robot in addition to repurchasing its cheap stock. Investors believe that this is the ideal time for Tesla to do a repurchase due to the company's recent price changes. Knowing when and how a stock buyback will affect Tesla stock is important since it can help investors make decisions about investments and offer insights into the company's financial health and future performance. YouTube recording to Dave Lee it is possible for Tesla to repurchase its shares because the business could manufacture 10 million cars a year at a profit of $15,000 each, compared to traditional automakers like General Motors and Ford Motors, which were forced to close numerous factories due to the global chip shortage. Lee explained how the company would be able to compete with established automakers, and there is good reason to think that Tesla is now poised to give them a run for their money, without being impeded by the crisis affecting the entire industry. Tesla sold nearly twice as many cars in a year as it did the previous year, setting records every quarter. The wider ramifications stem from Tesla's capacity to acquire essential components. Investing in Tesla stock would be a prudent decision for most investors, according to Dave Lee. If Tesla achieves an annual operating profit of $150 billion and receives a 30x multiple from investors, the company's total value will be $5.4 trillion which is a testament to the expectations of most industry executives and policymakers. Beyond its annual car sales figures, which suggest that the company as well as other emerging electric vehicle firms could pose a more immediate and potent threat to the dominance of industry behemoths like Volkswagen and General Motors for a number of months. Leo Colgan, the third largest investor in the firm, has been pushing for a share buyback, and a petition has been launched asking Tesla to return a portion of its shares. After Tesla had a challenging year, the petition was doing well by late November with over 5,300 signatures, and it was asking for a buyout by the end of 2022. One of the 5,000 petitioners claimed that he was forced to turn to the dark side and short Tesla stock in order to maintain his capital due to Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and the EV company, handling 19 recalls. He believes that the board should take action, such as a buyback, before he moves forward once more. According to Bush analyst Dave Ives, activist investors may put more pressure on Tesla and Elon Musk in 2023. Even while Tesla had significant growth in 2022, its stock price fell by 50%, making it a target for activists. For supporters of Tesla who are optimistic about the company's future, this news is crucial. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and check out our other content.